Well, some Georgia soybean farmers have decided to manage their crop a little differently this season, which has them harvesting early and seeing some very big yields. The monitor's Mark Wildman visited one farmer in Tattnall County who was very pleased with his crop. In this soybean field in Tattnall County, farmer Joey Norman walks with UGA Extension agronomist Jared Whitaker, looking at a crop that is loaded with beans. But these are as good as soybeans as I think you'll find in the state of Georgia. Um, you know, one thing Joey's done out here is actually looked at row spacings, and he's got wider row traditional beans interspersed with more narrow rows that are on 18-inch rows. And we were talking earlier today that I think the ones on 18-inch rows are as, as many beans as I've ever seen in a, in, a, in a one spot before. This farm, along with other farms in Georgia, has decided to plant a different variety of soybeans, and as a result, they have had to change their management practices. These soybeans are an indeterminate variety from southern states. This particular field was uh, planted for high yield, and uh, it requires a good bit more management, more nutrients, uh, and a whole lot more water. Uh, they was a lot of time that the rain didn't supply enough, and some weeks we had to put as much as three inches of rain a week on uh, irrigation a week on it, and lack of rain. It was highly demanding on on the uh, management issues. It was all timely uh, and on scheduled basis. UGA Extension works with farmers on issues with their crops and advises farmers on how to get the most out of every field. And one of the most important things a farmer can do is get the crop planted at the right time. The goal here is to see what our potential is. Um, ultimately, you know, our yield potential when we plant on time and we plant some earlier maturing varieties that may have some better yield potential, I think, you know, 100 is not an out of the question situation. And it's been done once with Randy Dowdy in South Georgia and, we'll, and I think we'll probably see it again this year. One of the best resources a farmer can have is a good extension agent. And in Tattnall County, Chris Tyson works with growers. We try to provide uh, research-based, unbiased information to growers as far as soybeans go. And um, basically, we just try to help our growers make the best beans that they can. Now, obviously, some growers have different goals than others. Um, and in this situation, we're, we're going for high-yield beans. So uh, we have to look at it a little bit differently. So we can kind of we can kind of work with growers to see what their goals are, and to try to come up with a a plan to to make the most bang for their buck. The end result here is a yield that is high, and hopefully the added cost of production will pay off for the farm. This new management approach to soybeans is just another way Georgia farmers strive to get the most out of their land. With better soybean prices and ultimately lower other commodity prices, it creates just kind of a, a, a good situation where growers are willing to make some investments and do some things to push yields. A lot of my work I started, you know, when I got here at University of Georgia in 2009, and you know, a lot of that research, if not all of it, has been supported by the Georgia Soybean Commission. Without their support, you know, we, we certainly wouldn't have gotten here as easy as we have, and we certainly um, would be, you know, we may not be here talking about these 100 bushel soybeans. In Tattnall County, I'm Mark Wildman for the Georgia Farm Monitor.